Hello, hello. Welcome to a new episode of Coffee with Chloe Tree. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I am going to be talking about the Go Wild Planner Conference 2022. I cannot wait to chat with you all about it and share my experience. I'm going to do it in the most concise way possible and really tell you all the details so that you can understand what this conference is, where it is, how you can go to the next one and more. So can't wait to share all the details about that with you. Before we get into the video, I want to thank my coffee sponsors. On my different platforms, I create content for planner inspo, organization inspo, and more. And some folks decided to treat me to a cup of coffee from the last episode. So those people that I want to give a shout out to are Robin, Carmelin, Tanya, Andrea, Lisa, Elise, and T and Joanne. So I want to thank you all so much for treating me to a cup of coffee. That was very sweet of you um, from last month's episode. I really appreciate it. And when y'all do that, it helps me to be able to continue to create content and helps me to be able to take care of the expenses that I get when I create content. So um, the different equipment I use and more. So thank you so much for treating me to a cup of coffee. And let's get right into this video. Vendetta. So you already know I have my essentials. I have my dream plan hustle mug with my coffee in it here. I also have my planner because I had to write down all my talking points. I didn't want to forget anything. So I have both of my essentials, coffee and planner. You go ahead and grab your coffee, tea, water, wine, whatever it is, so we can have this planner chatter here. I love chatting with you all in the planner community. It's the most fun part. And so I can't wait to see what you think about this in the comments below. So I have a few different topics. I'm gonna go over what is go wild, wild for planners, what is that? Saving for go wild, what's the price? And the programming. So we're gonna jump right into it, okay? The first thing I wanna talk about is what is Go Wild? Go Wild is an annual planner conference. Each year they pick a different location for this conference to be at. I believe it started in 2016. It may have started before that. Please don't quote me. The planner conference has been going on for a while now and I believe it is the biggest creative planning conference. And so this year the conference took place in Anaheim, California. Yes, near Disneyland. And so that is where it was. It was specifically at the Hilton in Anaheim. What is the price? The price for this go wild experience, I believe it was around $550, around there somewhere, $540, $530. Honestly, I did not look up my ticket price right before I did this video, but I know it was in the 500s. And so, um, yes, that is a pricey penny for a ticket. But if you've ever been to a formal conference before, I've done conferences for work, those all cost way more than that. Um, of course, my job pays for them, but still like they cost thousands of dollars. You know, as far as conferences are concerned, that is pretty much the going rate. Um, they, I'm sure there are some that are less more, but if you've, never, if you've never paid out of pocket for a conference, they can be pretty pricey. Now, what does that $500 cover, all right? So the price covered the hotel, not my stay, okay, let's be clear, not my hotel stay, not my room, but the accommodations at the hotel. So we pretty much had access to all of the main areas of the hotel. We had access to the lobby. Um, they had like a terrace, a second floor where, or a third floor where you can really, you know, hang out. Um, we pretty much took over the entire hotel. And of course, for the programming, there are places for us to be so the banquet room and it was a very large room so you know the more space you take up the more money it costs so if you've ever planned a wedding or a big event you know that it costs a lot of money to rent a banquet hall for an entire two days there were also some pretty awesome speakers at this event and so i'm not sure if those speakers get paid or if they volunteer their time but either way that is what you're paying for you're paying for the programming the talks um the activities and things like that so i have my notes here i have my ipad i have my notebook i need both today and i am going to talk about day one which was thursday march 3rd now this was not an official day one this was actually the registration day all right so on thursday march 3rd i took a plane and arrived there a around I think like in the afternoon so maybe like two or three and so I got there and I met up with my roommates at the airport and me Desiree Mary and Loretta from Cupcakes and Stickies we all went to the actual 
hotel. The Uber ride from the airport to the hotel was not long at all until we got there. And so there was registration. And at registration, we got these t-shirts that say Go Cal. So it's just like a little play on words like Go Wild, Go Cal. And then it has Planaheim 2022. And that's what we call Anaheim, right? Planaheim, play on words, really cute. And so I thought the shirts were really cute. The colors are really cute. And I was able to, you know, create a little look. I had a skirt that I purchased before the event and I went ahead and grabbed it. And I thought that maybe it would match something else, but it ended up matching the shirt. So I was excited and I wore that, thought it coordinated pretty well. Participants also got a name tag. This is my name tag. How cute is that? It has my name on it. It has go wild. So that's what it looks like. Really cute design. And that branding was on everything. In addition to the lanyard and t-shirt, we also got a bag. And the bag was very useful because at different events, you get different things and you can throw everything in that bag while you're downstairs. So it was really nice to be able to have that bag. It's very sturdy. I think I'll definitely travel with it later. After we checked in and got settled, then we went to the events area, which is a big room where they had different setups. So the setups included um, the big wild wall which is where all the names of the participants are listed we also had a space to take pictures of the, you could also meet different shop owners and business owners there and then they had different setups so like mild liners had an adorable setup zebra Avery had a 360 photo booth kind of thing, which was really cool. I had a lot of fun with that. They also had some other setups like Happy Planner and other brands. And so I can't remember every single brand that was in that room off the top of my head, but just know it was wonderful to see all the different beautiful backdrops. Um, the Erin Condren staff was out there as well. And they were, you know, staffing there. They had little pins to hand out. And so each station kind of had like little giveaways, which was really cute. After we went there, we met new planner people. There were planner people everywhere. We pretty much took over the entire hotel it was so cool to be able to really chat with folks that I met online before but never met in person or folks who said they were subscribed to my channel that like really touched my heart when people came up to me and said like hey I've been subscribed to your channel for a long time I really enjoy your content I follow you on Instagram like that meant the world to me and so it was really nice running into people on that Thursday um we ended up grabbing some dinner in the lobby they had full service um bar and Food. So that was very convenient because we didn't have to leave the hotel because at that point we were pretty tired from traveling. So it was nice to be able to just have something right there and get ready for the night. So that Thursday night, there was a Chrissy Ann Designs welcome party featuring um, Chrissy Ann Designs karaoke, confetti carpet, and photo booth. Now, the welcome party was nice. People did karaoke. It was really cute. Um, it was outdoors. So that was cool because I live in Chicago. So it was nice to be able to be outside and just enjoy the weather, right? Because it was pretty cold in Chicago at the time of the conference. So that was really nice. I was able to run into a lot of planner peeps. I'll try to insert some pictures here so you can see the different planner people that I ran into. It was amazing being able to finally meet these people in person and it was just really nice experience being able to meet them and really put the faces to the planners and the brands and all that. So everyone was very kind. I had a great experience meeting others and I really can't express verbally how awesome it was to be able to connect with everyone. Planner BFF Desiree, you know, we were working the room, having a good time. We had a great time. I mean, it was great connecting with everyone and meeting everyone. That was really the first chance we got to like meet folks that we hadn't met before. So it was awesome, awesome experience. Like I said, hard to put into words, but it was really cool being able to chat with everyone and talk to them. Um, the Chrissy Ann Designs um, car Confetti Carpet and Photo Booth, there was this really, really long line. And I'm not a line person. Um, I'm just not. Like, it, I just... I prefer not to. Have I ever stood in a line? Absolutely. Will I stand in a line? Yes. But I really prefer not to. So I actually just didn't stand in it. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Um, and they were like, there'll be another opportunity. So I didn't get in the confetti line. I mean, maybe do I wish I could would have gotten a confetti line? I mean, maybe, you know, maybe I wish I would have done that, but I didn't. So it's fine. I got plenty of pictures. <laughs> I did not get in that line. I just didn't feel like standing in a line. I wanted to really work the room and talk to everyone. So it was really nice. Something else to mention is that during this event, you know, everyone was handing out contact cards, which I didn't understand the real like meaning of contact cards a lot of your interactions because it's such a big event are going to be short like that long and so you might want to connect with someone later but you forget their name you know you don't know where to find them and so these contact cards serve as a great little tool so that you can be able to follow people later but then they also have our favorite thing is planner people which is stickers so these contact cards had stickers on them and they were really cute i loved it and thank you so much to Mary from Cupcakes and Stickies. She created my contact card with a Dream Plan Hustle logo and some other fun things on there. So I'm very grateful to her for being able to do that for me. Um, and, you know, 
if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have had contact cards because I didn't get like how important they were. Of course, you can go without them, but it was really nice to be able to have that to give to others. And it just felt good giving someone a little sheet of stickers. So I'm really grateful that she was able to do that for me. And it was really nice being able to have the little contact cards. The culture of the, you know, conference, everyone had them. Like everyone had a contact card. Um, and most of them had stickers on them. So it was really cute, really cool. I liked all the fun things people did with them. And you could really see people's personalities based on what they had on their cards. It was so cute. I could talk all day about Thursday, but I have to move on to Friday. So on Friday, they had a registration again for anyone who could not register the night before from 7 to 8 a.m. And then the conference room opened at 8 a.m. Now, I'm gonna try to include some video. The conference room opened at 8 a.m. Now, it was insane, okay, the amount of people in the lines at this conference. I mean, the line was wrapped around a million times. Me and Desiree went down and we were like trying to find, you know, the end of the line. We could not find the end of the line because the, the further you went through the line, more people were getting in the line. So it was kind of impossible to find it. But at some point, we finally found the end of the line. Um, I sat down and did my makeup um, in the line um, because the line was really, really long. And so when they got time to open the doors, there were so many people that I honestly couldn't keep track of where the line was going. But we just, I just followed the direction. I thought everyone was going in everyone was pretty orderly um and we all went in now when you go in there this is where if you've heard about this conference before there are these curated tables these tables are sponsored by different brands such as happy planner Erin condren paper panda avery zebra or my liner cloth and paper wrong wrong planner kate Christian Designs, Plum Paper, and many, many, many more brands. I cannot name all the brands. I think Villa Beautiful was another one. Um, there's no way for me to sit here and name every single table because there were a lot of them. However, there were different amounts. So like, I think the biggest tables were Happy Planner and Erin Condren. They had the most tables. Um, I think Erin Condren had the most tables at the event. Um, different brands, you know, were different places. Now, me personally, I was looking for a table, you know, with stuff I didn't already have. So um, I was hoping that I could find a table. It is first comes first served. You do not get to pick your table in advance. Your table is whatever table you find at the event and sit at. And they fill up pretty fast. So you don't want to look around too long because then you might miss out on a table that you may have been interested in. And they are sponsored. Meaning the owner of these companies, they spend money to put these products on each table. So, you know, you want to be appreciative of that. Um, it is not really part of your ticket price. And so this is just an added bonus. The point of the event is to go and hear the speakers and meet people. This is just an added bonus. It's not something that you would spend $500 for, right? Like it's it's not that. It's just an added treat, kind of like a swag bag when you go to an event. So when I got in, I, you know, wanted to go, I wanted to be centered for the stage because the point in sitting at these tables is to listen to the programming and to watch the different speakers come up on stage. So I wanted to kind of be centered. I didn't want to be too far on either side. And so I kind of like went towards the middle and towards the back because I came in kind of late. I didn't stand in line long. There were people in line from 1 a.m., 3 a.m., whatever. I was only in line from about like seven maybe. So I was only in line for an hour, which means that I couldn't expect to be first in the door, right? And so I knew that all the ones further up were probably taken and that I should probably look closer to the back of the room. So I started looking to the back of the room and I saw a lot of Erin Condren tables, which y'all know, I'm an EC addict. I have everything Erin Condren for the most part. I don't have everything, but I have a lot of things. And so I figured that anything they had at their table, I probably had something in there or something similar. So I kept looking and I caught my eye on a planner cake table. And so I took a seat and I was like, oh my goodness, there's a Planner K table. So I sat down immediately. Um, I figured, you know, I like Planner K. I'm a Planner K affiliate. Why not, right? The table was awesome. I love Planner K's table. And I am going to do a full video on all the swag that I acquired at Go Wild. So don't worry. I will do a full video showing you everything, every little thing, right, from Go Wild. So stay tuned for that. I'll put the link to that in the description, okay? I'll have a full video on that. So with that being said, um, we sat down and it was a lot going on at 8 a.m. okay there was noise there were lights there were there was music I mean there were a lot of people and it was a lot to take in in one moment like I had to take a seat and just like be calm and be centered and just relax and breathe because there were a lot of people and I have not been around this many people in a very very long time and so it was a lot to take in I was a little bit overwhelmed but very happy to be there, but just very, a little bit overwhelmed. So I had to just like be quiet and sit 
and you know take it all in so we sit down and i'm just gonna read to you the programming because i it would take me all day to just try to remember it by memory so friday we had stephanie fleming the founder of happy planner then we had a break then we had cindy from llama letters then we had chloe hillard who is a comedian next we had another break sponsored by cloth and paper the wild at home panel featuring amy tangerine siobhan dixon kane anderson and marquita cummings then we had another 15 minute break. Next, we had a live podcast taping featuring Planners and Wine with Megan and Myra. We also had a wild crop from 7 to 10 p.m. And there was an Erin Condren breakout workshop with Etta V from 8 to 9 p.m. So as you can see, some of those things happened later in the afternoon, but the main event ended at 1.30 p.m. So after 1.30 p.m., me and my roommates, we went upstairs, we ate some food, and me and Desiree, we got ready for the Erin Condren affiliate dinner. An invitation to this dinner was sent to all affiliates a couple months ago, um, and they said they wanted to treat us to dinner and show some appreciation for our work as affiliates, and I thought that was really nice. So we went to the Erin Condren store in Irvine, California. They shuttled us there, and then once we got there, um, we were able to shop the store, get things personalized, enjoy it. I mean, the store is gorgeous. I love it. You know, it's so cute, curated so nicely. Love the Erin Condren store. At this point, this is my second one, and I was not disappointed. Um, I did not purchase a lot of things because I didn't have have a lot of room in my luggage I brought an empty luggage for the swag but I didn't want to overcrowd my luggage so I didn't purchase anything at the store because I just didn't have room um so I had to use a lot of self-control and I did not purchase anything from the store but when we got to the dinner which was around the corner in the same shopping plaza um we walked over and we had a little like indoor outdoor dinner which was amazing um, at the table I was at, I was sitting next to some wonderful affiliates who I'll shout out at the end of this video. And then I also had right next to me, Jesse from Etta V, the brand. If you have not heard of Etta V, please go ahead and check out the links below and check out the Etta V collection from Erin Condren because she has a beautiful brand and, you know, she has more than just Erin Condren um, collaborations. She has collaborations with Pottery Barn, Casetify, Tervis, and some other amazing brands too. So make sure you check out Jesse from Etta V and the Etta V platform because she has amazing artwork and design. So make sure you check that out. And then I was also sitting next to Tanya, who is the CEO of Erin Condren, which blew my mind. Um, one thing I wanna note, which is like the most exciting, important thing um, of this day that really blew me away, was that when Tanya was on stage with the live podcast tasting of Planners and Wine um, with Megan and Myra, Tanya had on a Dream Plan Hustle shirt, and I'm going to insert that photo. Y'all, you should have seen my face when before the actual taping, I was in the lobby and I saw Tanya, and I didn't at first see that she had my shirt on. I didn't know it, um, and I saw her, but she looked like she was on an important call. I kind of like waved, and I kept it moving. She looked like she was on important call or email, like she was looking at her phone, and you know, she just looked like she was in tune with what she was doing. So I didn't want to bug her. Um, and I just kept moving. And so, but I didn't want to say hello. And someone else walked up to me and they were like, hey, Chloe, I think it was Victoria. And she's like, hey, Chloe, did you see that Tanya had on your shirt? And I'm like, it, excuse me? Like, what do you mean she had on my shirt? And she's like, she had on your shirt. I was so excited, so grateful, so happy, so overwhelmed. Um, and so I'm very grateful that Tanya took the opportunity to wear my shirt on that stage. It meant a lot to me. If you are at Go Wild and you're curious to know what that Dream Plan Hustle shirt is, that is my brand, Dream Plan Hustle. Go ahead and check it out right now on my website. Um, I really appreciate it. And of course, like I said, I'm representing today with my Dream Plan Hustle mug. So if you're not into the planner wear, definitely check out my planner lifestyle merch. I have different products on there. And so I'm very excited and happy and thankful that Tanya decided to wear my shirt on the Go Wild stage. This dinner was beautiful. It was Etavi themed. They gave us giveaway bags with Etavi merchandise inside. We loved it. Um, it was beautiful. It was just really nice, calm. The food was delicious and I'm very grateful um, that they treated us to dinner. It was really nice. I was also able to connect, like I said, with other affiliates and meet them for the first time, which was amazing. On the shuttle ride home, I had some awesome conversation with um, Kita from At Home with Kita, if you follow her platform. Um, and that was great to really be able to connect with people that I've seen online, but haven't really been able to have conversations with. So that was awesome. 
myself, Desiree, and Vanessa also went over to the Hello Kitty Cafe and Desiree got a few treats, which was really cute because y'all know I love me some Hello Kitty. Like the kid inside just loves it. So we were able to like just walk over to the Hello Kitty Cafe real quick towards the end of when people were shopping. So that was nice. When we came back to the hotel, I just relaxed, hung out, um, had a good time with some friends. Um, at the dinner, I met Keisha from Simply Keish on Instagram and we really hit it off. Like she's so cool. She reminds me of some of my family. Like I mean, seriously, like we really just hit it off and we had a great time. And we'll hang out in the lobby, eat, get a couple drinks. And that was really nice too, to really just have those open conversations and meet new people. It was great to be able to sit down and have a conversation with her and some other planner people. It was, it was amazing. I was talking to Keish, also met Elisa, which was awesome. She was very sweet. Like, I, I hope I'm not missing names, y'all, because there were so many so many wonderful people I met and so I don't want to miss anybody but yes um we had some great combo that night and just hung out you know the final day on Saturday the conference opened again and the founder of Plum Paper Christina Cardos I believe is how it's pronounced she had a very nice inspiring talk that she did in workshop and so she talked a lot about how to use plum paper planners and they gave away some plum paper merch as well as well as like a sample plum paper planner with all the different layouts which was really cool that we were able to kind of like try those out and see how they might fit in our routine. Next up, we had Planner Therapy hosted by Ashley Reynolds, the founder of Cloth and Paper. That was a really nice session. It was also featuring Aisha Ward and Pasha Shepard. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Then we had Amanda LeCount. You might know Amanda LeCount from Instagram or social media. She is a dancer and that was presented by Moxie Life. It was really cool being able to um, see Amanda talk about her journey as a plus size woman. And you know, I can relate to that. So it was really nice seeing her really talk about her truth in her life and see her dance um, unapologetically. She was beautiful, danced her butt off and I loved it. We then had a break. After that, we had Planner Pursuit Trivia hosted by Kristen from Christy and Designs. We had another break and then we had Allison Faulkner, the author and founder of Allison's Brand School, do a part. We also had Alicia Silverstone do the keynote conversation and she is from the movie Clueless. And after that, folks were able to really, you know, go do what they wanted to do. You also had the Erin Condren Small Business Grant, which was a private forum for the finalists. We then had, after that, Plan Jamma, which was really cool. They had some food, some an open bar, um, dancing. I mean, people walking around on stilts. Like, it was amazing. They had swings. They had seesaws. Like, all the fun things. Um, it was a really good time being able to connect with everyone there. I had on my Dream Plan Hustle shirt and my pajamas. You know, I had to represent my brand because if I don't, who will? Um, and that was really nice. We had a great time. I really enjoyed it. And, you know, it was just nice getting together with folks and having a good time. It is so hard to truly captivate everything that happened in that weekend. I can't explain it here in a YouTube video. Um, if it's something you're interested in, I definitely say start saving and planning for Go Wild. We do not have a location and you are not able to buy tickets at the moment but at some point that will be available for those updates i suggest you following the wild for planners instagram page checking out their facebook page if you're on social media if you're on those platforms so that you don't miss out that is probably the best way to find out you know when these events are going to happen for 2023 Day two, we also went to downtown Disney since we were in Anaheim. I did not go to Disney World, but that was because um, if I were to go to Disney World, I would want a full day. That Sunday, I flew home that morning. And if I would have stayed that Sunday, it would have costed me an additional $200 for a later flight. Um, I looked into it. I checked all the airlines. It was $200 more to fly out on Monday. And it would have also been an additional maybe $200 a night for the hotel. So that's $400 for one more day. And then I also would have had to buy my ticket right to go to to go to disney so that's 550 all right and then i would have wanted to of course buy other things at the park which is not a big deal but we're thinking 550 plus right plus tax and everything we're looking at at least 600 dollars for me to stay one more day okay and at the time i just didn't really want to um I was nervous about being able to connect with others my roommates were not going to disney um but looking back on it i do think that if that opportunity was there again I would do it um just because I feel like you know I wouldn't have had any problem going with folks that I've met um and so I was nervous about that I didn't know if I'd be like at Disney by myself but there were plenty of planner folks to go with and that is one thing I want to say if you are nervous about going to this without having friends do not be there are plenty of people to connect with it is so cool everyone wants to hang with you and so you don't have to worry about making new friends at this conference it's not hard at all it's very easy and there's always someone around that you can pair up with 
everyone's also just really nice like I didn't walk up to anybody and smile and they frowned at me like I, if I smiled at somebody they smiled back we had on masks so if I my eyes smiled you know how that goes under your mask like people smile back it was not difficult to make a friend at this conference everyone was very cool at the very least you know you can ask someone what planner do you use and that's a good way to start a conversation by itself so um we could talk all day about planners and stationery and different brands that we love and so it was very nice to be able to talk to people and it wasn't awkward at all in my opinion I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee with Chloe Tree. I really enjoyed it myself. If you enjoyed this episode, consider treating me to a cup of coffee with the Kofi link in my description below. You can also find the Edivy collection in my description below with the Erin Condren link. I have this beautiful monthly vegan leather planner that I use this for. And then if you are interested in the Dream Plan Hustle collection, make sure you check out my mugs and other merch in the description below. So I have all those links in the description below for you to check them out. I really enjoyed doing this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you were there, let me know in the comments if you were there. If you want to go next year, let me know in the comments. And if you have any general questions about the conference, please comment them below. Do not forget to subscribe, okay? We're going to take a moment. We're going to take a moment to subscribe. I'm going to give you a second. Go ahead and click the link in the bottom right corner to subscribe, and I'm going to wait. My imaginary watch. All right, now that you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to like this video, um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.